That's horrible. Let's fix it. Hey, hey, hope you're doing well. Noisy volume pots are the worst. There's nothing more frustrating than when you're trying to perform and you're trying to roll that volume back and end the song nice and quietly and then you get snap, crackle, pop. Like, come on. So clean it and it's really not that hard. So from my understanding of what's happening in the design is there's a flat surface with like a little needle that sits on top of that flat surface and when you turn the dial, that little needle runs across the flat surface and obviously dust and dirt and stuff gets in there and when it's touching it, it's not clean anymore, it's dirty and it's, you can hear all of that dust and grime being moved around. So what you can do is obviously just get the volume pot and go side to side and it will move some of it around, but it's not gonna get rid of it completely. So you wanna get yourself a can of contact cleaner. This is WD-40 fast drying contact cleaner. Now it's specially designed for electrical parts and switches and that sort of thing. Second, you're gonna need a screwdriver to get into the back of your guitar. So this is the inside of where the volume and the tone pots are. So what you want to try to do is get the nozzle right down into there. So I'll see if I can get a good shot of that. Right down into sort of this section down in the bottom there. Because there's like a, an opening into sort of that section I was just explaining. And just give it a good spray. Do it on both. Then flip it over and clean the heck out of it. Good turn, and you'll even feel it sort of loosen up all the way from top to bottom with the volume. And you can see on my leg, it's dripped some stuff on me, but don't worry, it's fast drying. <laughs> now I'm gonna do the same for the tone pots as well. Just because I don't think I've ever done those. Now it is fast drying, so it's not gonna affect anything at all. Now I do like to also, because these are push-pull knobs. I like to give it a bit of spray in there as well. Do the thing and then get yourself a tea towel or a towel of some kind and just wipe off the excess because you don't want to ruin your beautiful guitar. And in terms of cleaning that's more or less it. Before you put your back on plug yourself back in and test it out. Squeaky clean, that's perfection. Done and done. Obviously, put your panel on the back, your guitar is now clean. If you've got more than one guitar, you might as well just grab the rest and do it all at once. That way, you don't have to think about it. Thanks for watching, stay tuned. See you next time.